really fun week for me. I've had a bit of a stomach bug, so I have to continually run off stage to either shit or throw up. Yeah. Everyone's been so nice and mm. helpful. I'm, not gonna, I'm gonna try not to shit my suit today. We'll see. So everyone in the theater has become obsessed with Quiz Crack. Not What's true, it called? Not oh, I'm sorry. That's Quiz Crack from the olden days. Before they had technology. Wow. That's what Quiz Crack... What's it called? Quiz, trivia? Quiz crack. Tri trivia Crack. Quiz crack that's crack. what Trivia that's Crack used product. to look like. Now we have these little devices called cellular phones. Now back to what I was saying. Everyone's obsessed backstage except for mm -hmm. Paul because Paul likes paper. Oh, stop it. T tell them tell them about Chris Crack. Well, I'm making my dinner right now. Do you want to look at Oh. It's amazing wow. dark chocolate on top of granola bars. Try it. So great. It's sweet and salty at the same time. Oh. I do want you to try it like we're on a Rachel Ray show now. Would okay, you try great. this? Yo, absolutely. Okay, great. What well, can you feed me? Well, there we go. There, there it is. Mm. Mm, that's tasty. <laughs> There's a lot. There's a lot. There's a lot of, of sensation going on, right? Mm -hmm. What's the prep time on this? Prep time? <laughs> Is that... Well, I just exited the stage a minute ago, and I'm down here with it. So it's a quick meal. Can I tell you something that Jeremy Winter used to ask me? Yeah. He's like, oh, you don't do anything. And I was like, that's not true. Michelangelo, when he was creating the David, would look at a sculpture of clay and stare at it for hours at the time, and his dad would be like, what are you doing? He's like, I'm creating art. And so when I'm not on and you see me sleeping, mm -hmm. I'm actually creating, getting ready to create this. Hi guys. Hey. Any fun uh, things to talk about? Paul's telling an incredible mm. story, but... Oh yeah? Great. No, it was really about this... I don't, I didn't mean to interrupt. Gas ball? Do it here, slide it. <laughs> Oh, sorry, I fell asleep and died while I was shooting that great story. How's the experiment coming? I want to come in. What? It's over. Oh. It's not appropriate for Broadway.com, oh, but it looks Oh, like, so your nipple nips would be Oh, out. no, not this. We were trying to oh, do this oh, raw. It oh. actually looks so much better because, like, my boobs don't live up here. They well, live in a natural place, a natural state of rest. <laughs> a little bit less than Pirate Tinkerbell than usual. It's still Pirate Tinkerbell, just Pirate Tinkerbell without... Tits on her collarbone. Coll co collarbone tits. I've got collarbone tits. They're back where they were in middle school. <laughs> I'm not saying anymore. We're gonna do bang bang. You're gonna do it. You can do all of the other girls, and I'm gonna do Nicki Minaj. All right, Jesse J, go. What? What do you mean? Bang 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 bang, bang into the room. I know you want it. Bang bang all over you. I let you have it. Wait a minute. Let me take you there. Wait a minute to you. Ah, it's Mitz Miss Scudder, it's Frizz in a bottle, it's Nikki Full Throttle, it's all. Oh, oh, swimming in the grotto, we winning the lotto, we dipping in the pot of foam. Oh, I'll take it away. Oh, I gotta go. I gotta get ready. Chista. <laughs> I didn't miss you, Chista. It's my last day. This is Chista's last day at Ricky It's my last day. Oh, my I just. God. Oh. I'll see you on YouTube. We'll make more videos together. No, that talk. What the heck? I'm gonna see you in person. Oh, wait. You you wanna hang? You don't wanna keep in touch like in real life, IRLs, like it's well, I mean, like, I'll like Snapchat you. No, I'll tweet you. I'll send you like a direct Instagram. Okay, we can hang out. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You look hot. Uh, Everyone's uh, naked. Uh, no. it was oh. There's just so many amazing qualities that like that is just in this room right now. It's it's, it's crazy to me, and I, I want I want to uh, I know that I'll keep that. I know I'm keeping a piece of everyone, which is really really cool. I know that. Um, so thank you guys for being a part of my life and, and, and helping me grow as a superhuman. Oh There's a piece of me inside you that will never leave. Like you're like, you're, you're a ball of positivity. That's a lot of time. Thanks. Yeah. Love you. Congratulations. You're amazing. <laughs> we can do our next show together. Yeah. Book of Mormon. Oh, you got Only two weeks left. What are you guys going to miss the most about me? Anyone want to start? You can just go ahead and start. <laughs> so terrible.
terrified right now. <laughs> See that? See that? Two weeks left. You're going to miss my enormous balls. Thousands. That's great. Paul, I just think I should take this time to apologize to you for calling you now, boring. Now you're apologizing? Yes, I know this that I hurt your weeks. feelings. You now to apologize after all the things that you said about me? Well, you Publicly, know. Publicly, I mean, in front of other people, you're just demeaning my character? Well, I figured better now than never, which is was my other thought. Oh, so you, other you thought. were never going to apologize? Yeah, that was so originally what I thought. public apology? Yeah. Originally, I was just not going to say anything because I feel like you probably would just, you know. <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, Dad. I think it just brings us closer as characters because fathers and sons fight all the time. Please forgive me, Papa. Papa, please, please, Papa, please. You make me feel cheap. Okay, it's Mitch Jarvis's first show back, and I've never seen him. I've never been on stage with him, and I used to watch him all the time when I was a wee lad, and I'd come watch Rock of Ages at the stage show. When I was a small British boy, I'd come to Rock of Ages, and I'd sit on the side, and I'd say, oh God, I love Mitch Jarvis, but he was Lonnie then, and now he's Stacey, which is like so weird, because they're like totally different. <sighs> It'd be like me coming back and playing Sherry. That was wonderful. Mitch did a wonderful job. And when he was dancing, he did a flourish with his hands and his ring rolled off stage and directly to my feet. So clearly, I don't actually know. But anyway, it's been another incredible week here at the Broadway for the final Kunt Jeans. The Rock of Ages, we only got two more weeks, so make sure that you all tune in next week for our next installment called Cooking with Michael Manaring. And it's also called Boring with Paul. <laughs> and Josie. You are Bye. a filthy whore. <laughs>